Hey man, this is Chris with Phone Cats, and we're about to cover 30 games in 30 minutes. So let's get started. Uh, but we're also gonna do a giveaway. I wanna say that before anyone already bounces from this video, Jesus. All right, here's the icons in the game list. We got Kingdom Rush, 1001 Attempts, Nimble Quest, Super Stickman Golf, Infester, Mr. Crab, Lumberjacked, Adventure Time Rock Bandits, Beastie Bay, Knights of Pen and Paper, Gun Commando, Pixel Defender, Backflip Madness, Night Marathon, Gargoyle Ruins, Block Warfare, uh, this kind of like Plants for a Zombie game with uh, extra bitty graphics. Uh, Random Heroes 2, Bastion, Ninja Striker. We got some Trigger City gameplay, uh, Dumb Ways to Die, Trucker Parking Simulator, Foul Rune, Oh My Heroes, Krabatron, The Other Brothers, Magicka, Grotopia, and Zombies Escape, no, Escape from Zombie University, which is kind of like porn. Let's do this. Here's some gameplay for Kingdom Rush. Um, I'm doing these insanely epic challenges right now, and I think I'm about to die in just a matter of seconds. In this one, it's only like the second or third level, but you can't use any knights, your little warriors that are your generic damage sponges. So I'm having to like use my reinforcements and drop them. Um, I played this game compulsively for hours every night until I beat it, and I definitely uh, give it all my little like stamps and blessings of approval. Come on, stick with it, keep upgrading. We'll try to play this one out and see if I can beat it, but if I let one dude pass, it's over. So it's kind of crazy. These are just like the uber hard challenge mode. Here's some crazy stuff about Kingdom Rush. It just came out on Android last week. It came out on iPad like late 2011. If you have an Android phone, do you realize that you're getting games like a year and a half, two and a half years behind? No. Is that two and a half years or a year and a half? I can't math right now. And we'll tap out on this vid here just to keep it short. Next! All right, here's some gameplay for 1001 Attempts. They've been doing all kinds of little updates to this game, and right now I'm playing in the hard mode. I really shouldn't even look away from the screen because it's gonna be a challenge to last a minute. Yeah, I know what I was getting in when I started saying that, and I finished it. That? Oh, so they added little tunes now, and it's uh, nice and cutesy. Like right now I'm this little devil one. Oh, you little devil! And yeah, I'll start going into aggro playing because I feel like I'm already coming up on a minute. Next! All right, here's some gameplay for Nimble Quest. Um, for what it's worth, there was a game called Call of Snake that came out before this, and uh, Nimblebit admitted that they took a lot of inspiration from that game, but god damn, how did I die already? I really feel like it may have been too much, like they may have just crossed the line, because both of them were pixelated, and both of them were about adding to your snake, and each time you add a new unit, I don't know. Uh, it's just so hokey, dude, because Nimble, uh, Nimble Bit, Nimble Bit made a tiny tower, and that game got uh, all kinds of like clones thrown at it, and then they do the same thing. Like, I don't know. I still can't believe I died that fast. The game's cool. Um, it's a little grindy, and it's free. Call of Snake was, I think, 99 cents. So they not only did they like take the soul of the game away, but they uh. <laughs> They underpriced it. I don't know. It's kind of Walmarty, but whatever. We'll tap out there. Um, they recently did updates, so there's all kinds of new stuff. And now you get that little gem puller at the begin at the end of every level. So that's cool. Next. Okay, here's some footage for Super Stickman Golf 2. I think I'm playing a multiplayer game. It better not be just me by myself. No, we got a person. We're live. This game is only a dollar-ish. Oh no! If that would have hit that pink, that would have been it. <laughs> that sounds. Wildly inappropriate. What is taking so long for my ball to stabilize? Ugh, I'm gonna lose. I already lost. Oh my god, I'm just playing with one person, so each time that he wins, I auto lose. This game will make you rage like Mario Kart. Like, I hate getting last in Mario Kart, and they don't even let you finish the race. Normally there's like, uh, four people doing these. The only pro tip I have for you is to spam- JESUS! is to spam go at the very beginning to get your meter already ramping. Stop, you stupid ball. I'm hurting, I'm hurting. At least I got that pink. Phone cats, how you get the best pink? What's this sucker doing playing over there? About to ramp this off the wall, and then I'm gonna bounce. <laughs> Give me that hole in one. If I beat him, I'm gonna leave. Oh, you in the drink, you stink! Phone cats, how you get the best putts? Next! Here's some uh, first and second world gameplay for Infester. This is a game uh, by Ravenous, and uh, whenever Random Heroes came out, they made this free to promote it. So I snagged it. 
This one's all about uh, running up to dudes and then occupying their body to use their powers. And each guy's gonna have little unique moves. They've been pretty uh, tame so far and still kind of like showing me the hoops and whatnot. But it's cool. Um, I know I've seen iTunes screenshots of dudes with guns, so let's see what they're gonna show us already. They have really a, a really good sense of level progression. Launch yourself over high walls by releasing from your host. Dang! The mechanics begin. I, I hope this gets really puzzly, and I think it's going to. I hope it's not more uh, akin to like... What was I gonna say? League of Evil. God, League of Evil 3 coming out. Get out of town. We'll tap out there. Cool game. All right, here's some gameplay from Mr. Crab. This is one of those super funky one-touch games, and it's by Illusion Labs. Um, these guys just have such unique art. I mean, this is a uh, pretty visually stimulating, and I'm playing on an iPad too. I'm just gonna show you like a minute of this to get the gist of it. As I run into it, what was that? Like an ivory scorpion? God, now I want one in real life. Bouncing. Why do I feel like I'm going the wrong way? Ugh. In this game, you don't die. I mean. Yeah, there's no, like, heart progression or anything. The only punishment is... Oh, I get it. I get it. Gah. Gah! The only punishment is falling down a level. Now if I can just make it past that one spot, I'll consider that a success, and we'll stop there. Ugh. They're starting to get ragey. I love his googly eyes, though. It's hard to get mad. Yes! A minimal amount of progression. We'll stop there. All right, here's some gameplay for Lumberjacked. Uh, fair warning, don't d Google image search, Jesus, don't Google image search Lumberjacked unless you're very uh, de desensitized by the internet. His beaver legs are still just hanging around. I had a really hard time with the last level, and this is like a celebratory happy vid that I've actually made it past it. Whoa, easy with the boxes, how did I even die? Was there a beaver box? Huh. There was a beaver under that box. Yeah. Oh, how'd I get him? Now I just want to beat it. Boop! At first I called this uh, something that was akin to... Yes! No! Um... What was I calling it? Ah, who cares? Next! Alright, here's some footage for Adventure Time Rock Bandits, which is the best game that's involving Adventure Time on iOS. Right now I'm at a boss fight. It's, it's kind of far ahead in the third world and I don't know what to do. It has to be about reflecting things back at him, but I don't even know, man. The boss fights are actually kind of tricky. Like, I just got hurt there. It's about reflecting their attacks back at him. That's kind of like the common element in all these. But I don't even know. Let's just try shielding them. Nah, those kill me. Super short on that one. Next! Here's some footage for Kairosoft's Beastie Bay. Any Pokemon fan is gonna be super into this. There's a lot of like farming mechanics and whatnot, but uh, there's fights too. Let me depart and go on a little adventure and see if I can get in at least one brawl in under a minute. You can play this game for hours every night. Uh, this is one of those uber immersive Kairosoft uh, little sim games. So right now he's just on his journey on the bottom right. Man, I play this game so much, I'm gonna have to do so many of the things the same way, but I don't know, these Sims by Kairosoft kind of just throw you into the wild. Ah, it's like a throw in the wild in a fight. Oh my god, look at that timing. We'll just put it on auto combat, because I'm I just want to be able to get through an entire fight in under a minute. But there's loot, you're always scooping up new crabs, or not new crabs, but uh new little monsters and they level up. It's it's so much fun. I like the graphics. I kinda wish it wasn't in this like uh peculiar skin, but since it's like a PC port, that's just something we gotta deal with. Speed it up, Krabbies! You can choose different uh, starters. All right, we'll tap out there. Uh, free to try and five dollars for the whole thing. Next, here's some gameplay for Knights of Pen and Paper. I really don't get this yet, but I don't know. It just has so much, so many factors that should be right up my alley. We'll fight it back. I don't know. I don't know. I've never played Dungeons and Dragons in real life, but I don't know, man. As a Magic: The Gathering fan, I had defeat. What even? What even happened? It should be right up my alley. So I need to click on each all my dudes and res them, or what's going on? I just pulled up the system. You've been defeated, and you do not have enough gold to resurrect a character. Okay. So I just resed them all, and now they're dead. And now I need to improve their health? Oh my god, I want to get so into this. Each different character 
is like a different kind of human and then each character that you choose gets to play a different kind of role so there's this weird mixing and mashing where like a nerd will be better as like a mage and things of that nature yeah i can't even show you any gameplay but uh that's enough next okay here's a minute of gun commando this is a uber doomy uh fps what is that oh i thought it was some kind of threat we're fine Onward. Sometimes I just like to sprint through these in almost like a speedrun fashion, and I've never even seen that before. Like a little thing on the ground. I don't know, am I gonna have to do new things? I hate new things. Oh god! Okay, we're on the right track. Let's at least uh, try to show you as much as I can. Oh no, the little buckies! And that baddie that was the boss last time is now the regular hotness. Oh god! Well, looks like I'm getting past the point where I can I can't sprint around. Next. Okay, here's a minute of night marathon, and it really is akin to a nightmare. Oh my god, I hate these moths. Um, oh my god, I haven't played this game in a while, and just everything is gonna freak me out. I got this weird gun. The devs did a really quick update to the controls that made it way better, and uh, for a dollar or two, this game is really cool. You should pick it up. Okay, God, I'm still kind of figuring out all of the mechanics. Yeah, finally got a good gun. There's that crazy death worm, though. Oh, I got bouncy bullets. I think. Gah. No! Just super pixely graphics, cool soundtrack. Uh, for a dollar or two, it's, I mean, it's a really easy purchase. And this is one of those games that just gets infinitely harder really quick. Oh, yeah, and it's infinite like that, too. Like, where you can run to the far left and pop out the right and run out the top and come out the bottom. Um, initially you're going to be tracking down all these little normal baddies and then it gets crazy like when you get to the bosses and whatnot. Let me just light these guys up and we'll tap out. Next! Okay, here's some footage for Pixel Defender. This is the dopest match 3 game that I've even seen on iOS. I never played that uh, 1 0 0 0 0 0 game though. Sometimes I just let games slide off my radar. So basic match 3 premises, but you're going to want to be dealing with all those baddies that are always at the top too. Right now I can't even stack three uh, yellow dudes to save my life, so let's do a viking axe throw and hope that it crits on him. And then after that guy dies, which he will die now. No, out of action points! See, is this smart or not? Just to kill him? No, he's out. Whatever, just keep placing blocks. But when that dude dies, a whole other wave is going to show up. There's endless modes. I don't know, I really wish there was multiplayer in this. I hope that's something that they've at least considered. Oh my god, I can't stack him at all. We'll just kill him and tap out. Wave defeated! Next! Okay, here's some footage for Backflip Madness. This is one of the craziest games. Super props to the dev. Ooh! I'm on the canyon. This is really hard. You're never even going to get this far in this game. It's just impossible. Now it's getting to the point where I have to do double backflips. And one fun thing is, oh, I'll die real quick and then show you. But after you die, there's ragdoll physics and you can drag your body around. Gah. The controls are so funky. Uh, let me give you some tips. You zoom, pinch to zoom out, and then you use two thumbs or just two fingers to pan around. You can change your jumps and do different kinds, but uh, it never even works out for me. Let's show you the physics, because that's probably the funnest part of the whole thing. And you can use it just to explore around and whatnot. In some of the beginning levels, there's stuff that'll actually interact. On this one, there's no like cars to smash them into or anything, but this is fun alone. Next! All right, here's a minute or less of Gargoyle Ruins. This game is so weird. It feels like you're holding one of those Tiger arcade handhelds, and I still don't have the controls completely down. That guy just took out my bridge. Didn't even know I could pause. Oh no! So you gotta get to the other side of the screen and then crank that princess gate open while constantly dodging swords, and then that one on the bottom does like a downward shank or an upward shank. Let's see if I can get the princess in under a minute. But yeah, it's like those uh, arcade classic old schools to where um, there were only like a certain amount of motions. Ah, I had her, but I got bombed. Next. Okay, here's a minute of block warfare. Man, these guys are, these guys Forsaken are like my heroes. They're making games that are way better than Game Loft. They're just like the, the heroes, I feel like, of mobile gaming. Um, they just added co-op to block warfare. Heroes and Castles is awesome, and you know they got some new stuff in the pipes too. So now you can be playing this with a real, uh, a real life human being. Right now I'm just doing the uh, sandbox mode where you just build all the towers you want. 
and just kind of feel things out. And this is honestly the number one thing that I like to do in this. Um, this is one of those games that you can just go super deep on and just get immersed in. It's fun just to set up all these towers and then just watch epic battles. I'm playing on an iPad too and it can hang, but it's only a matter of time until, uh, God, look at that dude. That's the healer one. But yeah, normally it's just a matter of time until the swarms take over. I can't even imagine playing co-op and if people that are pro and know what they're doing. I just mess around in the sandbox mode. All right, let's do next. Okay, here's a cute little plants versus zombie alternative. I mean, it plays exactly like it so far, but it's super bitty. Um, instead of doing your, those ones that generate currency faster, you just have these little boosts. They're kind of getting expensive, but they're adding cool uh, pixelated little tunes and they're all in the RPG roles. So you got your knights, mages, archers, all that jazz. I think they do add, add some new stuff down the line. And I should probably be investing in boost more, but I don't know, just trying to show you some randomness. This is the first world that I've been in where it's all this like underground theme. And I like the art. I mean, it's hard to uh, argue with these pixels. So high on the fun factor, but pretty low on the creativity and originality factor. But we'll uh, keep spamming out some fives and see if uh, they're going to show me show us anything besides spiders. I don't know what those brown dudes are. They look kind of roguey, so we'll go with that. All right, feels like it's already been a minute. We'll do next. Okay, here's a minute of Random Heroes 2. I can't even um, get past this level right now. It's getting to the point where I'm actually struggling. I just beat the first boss, and this is the second world. And I don't know, you're just having to start to... Why did I jump right into that? You're having to use all the new mechanics. So let's squat here for a minute and actually take this dude out. There we go. But yeah, it's not this speed run thing that these games frequently are. Take him out. The boss fights are epic. There's, I mean, over a dozen different heroes and gun combinations. Someone posted in the comments that the king with the bazooka is actually worth it. And that's like the hardest one to get. Oh no, they're already doing those little orbs that float and chase me around. I hate them. All right, these guys are chumps. You can sneak right under them. I feel like it's already been a minute, so we'll tap out here and do next. Oh, the wrong path. All right, here's a minute of Bastion. This is like the best game that I've ever played on mobile. Um, I think it's maybe a $5 normally, but I was able to snag it for when it was only a dollar on sale. And it was like one of the best dollars I've ever spent on iOS. Um, I just heard that the bad guys in this game, like the nature is starting to build their own Bastion. Oh no, and I'm gonna have to start actually blocking soon. I hate when I actually have to use new mechanics. Lately I've just been spamming this fire thing around and it's pretty uh, overpowered. Especially versus all these biological ones. Gah, see that one has like psychedelic attacks. Uh, torch it! Best thing we can do for those beasts right now is put them down. Hear that voice acting? There's an insane amount of weapons and let me try to at least show you how the levels uh, like develop as you walk around. Or you can fall off the edge. This is one of the most immersive RPGs on uh, iOS. We'll tap out here. Next. Okay, here's a minute of Ninja Striker. This really plays like Fiona fights to me, but at the same time, I feel like I'm still missing all the concepts. Uh, we'll try again. So it's like one tap and then your character moves over there. I was fine at the boss fight, but now I'm going back to these normal levels and having a hard time. I checked on iTunes and this game is still free. I don't know how or why or what's going on. And there's a frog. Whenever it becomes a tap frenzy. Oh, the first cat! These moments are crazy. I don't even know where I am right now on screen. But they love to do those little sonic dash moments. God, I died again. We'll stop there. All right, here's a minute of Trigger City. This is a, for me, it feels like double dragony, but all the graphics and everyone else is saying it's more akin to a River City Ransom, which I must have missed. I'm already hurting, so let's activate my Vicoxidin. This game has all kinds of funny uh, and crude drug humor, so I don't know, if you're an adult, you might appreciate it. And they're like hip to the hip with, they're talking about like bath salts and uh, Four Loco and all kinds of uh, comical stuff. They called it Ocho Loco though, just to dodge any uh, potential issues. Let's pull a couple more baddies and uh, tap out. Normally you're equipping all kinds of weapons, so it's weird that in this world there's nothing. I've had a broken bottle so far, bats and uh, brass knuckles, but it's cool. And I'm excited to see what little uh, stuff they start adding next. Let's see if I can take them out. Boop. Oh, a little power up. Am I dead? I don't know what's happening. Next. Okay, here's a minute of dumb ways to die. If I can even 
Uh, you have three chances. It's just like WarioWare games. It's really fun. Patience! Uh. And then there's little uh, cutesy animations of them either staying alive or dying. I don't know. <laughs> They're really comical. I like the art style. I don't even know how to describe it. Da -da 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 -da. Oh no! This one gets me every time! Mm-hmm. I'll play until I die. Whew. I think I just unlocked a new character. This is the hardest one. Next. Okay, here's where I'm at in Trucking Parking Simulator. You can try this game for free, and it's just one of those, like, weird, guilty games that you'll play. It's just very funky and unique. The only thing that I need to do different here is... God, I'm already dead. We'll start over. There's this really huge loop-de-loop. -loop. I'm playing the free version, so there's lots of little pop-ups like that, but it's not that bad. Okay, last attempt. Just wide turns. There's this huge wide turn coming up that I can't get past. Like, I need to at least make it past this part. Was that too much gas or just enough? Oh, dear. All right, this is it. I need to go wide. 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 As wide as possible. Oh, yeah, we got this. No, that wasn't wide enough. Oh my god, being a trucker would be so hard. Oh my god, I made it. That's even crazier. Oh my god, I'm gonna beat it. Start slowing down now. If I beat this, you gotta be kidding me. Perfect break. Stop engine. That was a little off. Let's see if I beat it. Did I unlock it? No. Next. Here's some gameplay for Legend of Valrune. And this is uh, just like a super Zelda inspired game. Right now I finally got my sword, and for combat you just walk into the guys, so that's kind of cool. And then if you're feeling dodgy, you can get away from them most of the time. I need to figure out how to get into that downstairs area, or what's going on. I don't even know if there's dungeons or what the deal is. And right now I'm stumped. In these kind of games, sometimes I end up just walking around the entire exterior of the entire world, just trying to find out where I'm supposed to go next. That's my normal go-to. But super cute graphics, I love how it's so bitty, and this looks like a big deal. What is this? What do I do here? Save the game? Jesus. We'll stop there. All right, here's a little bit of Oh My Heroes. Um, the devs did something funky for a little bit where there was a little bit of shystiness going on, but now we're back in action and uh, everyone got their currency back. This is the closest thing that I found to Smash Bros on iOS. Um, it's a little peculiar with these uh, like respawn timers where you can't see any of the fight going on, but I don't know. There was some big hack that happened and everyone lost all their gems and uh, they fixed it, but I don't know. I, I wonder if they gave everyone extra. Each tune has a couple of different special moves, but it's really grindy. And of course you can spend in-app purchases to uh, alleviate that problem and to get past these load screens. It kind of pisses me off. I hope someone else uh, does this version of this game. We'll do next. All right, here's a minute of Krabitron. This is really hard to play while standing up on my iPad. Oh, and the ships will try to dodge me? That's extra rude. Oh my God, I can't play like this. Ugh, ugh, it's too challenging. Um, these guys didn't do a Kickstarter. They did a Crab Starter for this game. And you can go to crabstarter.com and it shows all their uh, progress of who's been scooping it up. And I don't know, they're just really creative and it's a fun style of game. I really can't play like this with only a uh, while holding my iPad, you need to like have it set on your lap, so we'll just do next. Alright, here's some footage for the other brothers, and this is also where I tapped out and pretty much rage quit. It gets crazy hard. Sometimes the hitboxes can be a little funky to me. Ugh. And there's a bowling ball that- how did I die right there? Right where I died, they're gonna shoot out a bowling ball, and it kills me like half the time. And then even when I make it to the next part, I'm already dead. I don't know. The hitboxes freak me out, dude. It's so weird. The doves are almost like rings in Sonic. Ugh! Yeah, now I got no rings, and now the next time I get hit, I'm hurting. Watch out for the bowling ball. I should have got a dove there. Dove! Oh, the cops! And that one guy's dropping bombs on me. 
All right, let's start running. Watch out for the bowling ball. There, I actually saw it. That was pro. Normally, I'm dead by now. Checkpoint! This is seeming familiar, and I remember those crushing walls now. Ugh. Ugh. This vid needs to end soon. This vid needs to end soon. I got another checkpoint, and I died. Uh, we'll stop. Okay, here's some footage for Magicka. You can play this. Oh god, that ghost just teleported. I'm in trouble. I don't remember how to play this game well enough. Um, there's a multiplayer version where you're playing with multi multiple people live, and it's just completely crazy. Okay, so you tap things to make the spells, and then you shoot them at them, but some elements don't mix together. Um, the multiplayer version is so chaotic, and this game actually has a... The devs that made this have a sense of humor, so I would recommend scooping it up. There we go. I like to do lightning charges. That's one of my go-tos. Wizard stepping in hazardous puddles. Oh no, we got ghosts. Oh yeah, when you mix something with green, it lets you cast like a blast of it. God, I am just super noobin' in this game. There, that's your pro tip. That's all you get. When there's four people running around, there's friendly fire, so you're always screwing each other over and it becomes really comical. We'll tap out there because I feel super noobish at this. Oh god, what's in that dirt? Oh, there's skeletons. All right, here's a minute of Grotopia, which is this epic MMO platformer. Uh, you can build any world that you can think of. And right now they just did a zombie update. So for like the rest of the week, there's this constant zombie plague. And if you get hit, you get the zombie plague for a couple minutes and then it's all just about spreading it. Oh my God. See, that was like a little parkour version where you can just jump around and go through uh, spikes and dodging lava. This is one of my favorite games right now. I mean, if you're ever, if you've ever wanted to make a game, then you can scoop this up and actually make something and people will jump through the hoops and play it. And it's cool to see someone I don't know. It's just cool that the game gives you that much creativity and that uh, you can see other people play stuff that you made. It blows me away. We'll do next. All right, last but not least, here's a little bit of the footage for this game called Escape from Zombie U. There's a free version that you can peep out if you just kind of want to feel it out or you can just scoop up the real deal. They're slowly adding power-ups. Um, the art, the graphics, and the comics that come with it are just... I don't even know where to begin. Like, you'll be taking all kinds of print screens. We'll just leave it at that. So the zombies are going to come up from the bottom. You've probably seen something akin to this, but it's rare that uh, the animations are this, like, ridiculously comical. I don't know. I just love, uh, like, hyper-sexualized animes that are on Netflix, and this game just kind of fits the same groove. I don't even know what power-up that girl's going to bring, but we'll go have her grab it. And the game, each level normally takes, like, five or six minutes, so I'm going to have to tap out pretty quick. But I'll try to show you at least uh, some of the power-ups and, I don't know, just give you, like, a sample. Isn't this crazy? Oh, she's got a little butane. What is this? Boop! But yeah, every time she throws, there's like an upskirt. It's just hilarious to me. And she's throwing chalk, because she's a teacher, and sometimes you'll get like multi-chalks and just funky upgrades. But we'll tap out there. Uh, thanks for watching. Funkettes.